My dad admitted to war crimes while drunk and IDK how to feel about it. Edit to everyone who said that this isn't true. I genuinely don't know either. This morning he denied anything about it and everyone is saying this sounds impossible. Main reason I posted this was to hear what other people think about it, and I hope you're right and it's not I also saw a comment about people remembering things that didn't happen as well as drinking problems I don't know about the memory thing but he is an alcoholic. I'm sorry if this sounds stupid or naive but I truly hope none of this happened. Edit 2 I should explain that this story was brought up when I asked him why his skin was so much more darker now than in his childhood pictures. My pop pop used to tell me his World War II stories. As I was the oldest grandchild and no one else listened to him. I loved him so much. And he suffered a lot as a young man. Those stories died when he did. Though. Because some were truly tragic and awful. Never mention it to him or anybody else. You don't have to forgive him. But you should make an attempt at understanding. I recommend reading. Achilles in Vietnam if you want to learn a little more about the psychology behind the way people. Behave during and after war. I always viewed it like how would you react if your best friends and team were murdered. Sorry not a vet but both of my grandpas were and I heard some shit I'll never repeat from WW2 and Vietnam. At the end of their day. The men in the foxhole were all you had. It's like losing a brother. Again not a vet but M my brother was murdered so I can relate a little. Given the chance I would fillet my brother's killers with a dull knife and wouldn't lose sleep over it. When I was a kid this kind of thing would happen when Vietnam vets had a few they'd tell us this. Horrific stuff. My advice get past it. It's war but sometimes it turns into dog eat dog. Know who else would do these things in these situations. Literally all of us. The RR meeting I preferred to go to because it was less religious had all these Vietnam vets. I would hear all sorts of things. There were a couple times I went up to them after the meetings and just hugged them. My grandfathers both served but they never said anything. My friends were all in the Middle East after 9-11. I've heard some small stories. But I never asked. If they want to talk I'll listen. So he was in Kuwait. During the Gulf War. The war waged supposedly to fight Iraq's invasion of Kuwait. And then a few locals. Kuwaitis I assume. Burned the American soldiers whose supposed purpose in their country they know. There's not a lot of small villages in Kuwait either. Bullshit. Unless there's something about the Gulf War that I don't know. Not saying Americans have not committed numerous war crimes in the countries they invaded. The only constant in war is that it dehumanizes everybody involved. There are no good guys. Everyone's a bad guy during war. And neither can be blamed. Warfields aren't common society man. That's why we humans as a collective should work our damn hardest to stop all wars. First of all, every time Americans are attacked, the enemy will always blame young teen boys. It's usually BS. Second, it's possible that none of this even happened. At least not to the extent he says it did. Does he have a drinking problem? I did after three combat tours over there. I would remember things that never happened and also have exaggerated versions of things that did. It's part of complex PTSD. Just take it all with a grain of salt. I would encourage him to find a qualified therapist who works with veterans. War is the worst and ugliest of humanity concentrated. I fully believe your dad is a kind and gentle man. I also fully believe he is capable of murder. Given the situation he was in. Look up the war he was in.
See a bit of what he lived with. You don't have to condone it. You don't have to condemn it. Just understand that it was a horrible occurrence for everyone. Sounds made up. I've been blackout drunk before and come up with crazy shit that isn't true. Maybe that's what happened. Although I wouldn't find it too hard to believe. You asked about his tan. His response was his tent was on fire. Lol sounds like he responded to your dumb question with something way out there. Obviously you believed it and posted leaves scars not changing hue of your skin. I lost five brothers in arms from and IED in Afghanistan. To make matters worse the ones that planted the device were being guarded by myself and a few others who knew them closely. I was the leader in charge of the group and all I could do is console them and encourage them to be the better soldier. In my heart I was so angry but I had to keep my composure. I made sure the guards were properly relieved early so they can attend the fallen soldiers. Ceremony as for me I continued my post. That was in 2010 and so far I have lost three of them from suicide. The more I think about it the more this story is bullshit. I've been to war three times as a marine. There's no fucking way you could sneak enough people in a camp and have enough time to start a complex fire on a training exercise never mind the when gearing up to do a huge invasion. During an actual combat operation. You're not sneaking into a marine bivouac. There was the whole airfield at Bastion 2011 thing but we're just not gonna mention that. But it's open source info so if this incident actually happened it would be too. Bro talked about how his dad's friends horrifically burnt to death like it was nothing and then. Described eating bacon as a big no-no. It's easy to judge a man in a situation like that from your couch. Never having seen the horrors that were his every day. I hope you never understand. I'm still messed up too. I hide it very well. I don't understand how people are defending your grandfather. What the fuck? This is a good example of if you haven't dealt with this kind of thing personally. Maybe don't comment. In times of war the laws are silent Marcus Cicero. Take this propaganda fake ass post down. Yeah this didn't happen. People do terrible things when put in terrible situations. You should feel fine about it. War is messy. Especially when it gets personal. Those locals might not have been part of the enemy forces. But they were enemies who attacked first. My soon-to-be husband is a 21-year army combat vet of the Iraq war. He went to Iraq four times and Afghanistan twice. He has told me some stories that are absolutely frightening and heartbreaking. I look at it as he was in war and the things you do in war sometimes suck. And I'm glad he survived. It sucks but he trusts me enough to tell me about it and I will always listen because he's getting it out of his head. He trusted you enough to tell you about it. That says a lot. I couldn't imagine carrying that around in my head every day. My friend told me something his father World War II vet did. My friend asked his father what was the most fucked up thing he saw in the war. His father was driving a tank and accidentally ran over a four-year-old girl. My friend's father described in great detail that this little girl was pancaked into the tank's wheels. I know tanks don't have wheels. I forgot what the rotating things are called. Basically, imagine a two or three foot peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Then you take that sandwich and stomp it a lot. That's how he describes the aftermath to my friend. Fake. It's kind of like now the friends that burned aren't even really victims they're just an excuse for. A bunch of sick shit that happened in country they never should have been in. 
I don't see what the big deal is personally.